The no-fat movement has gained significant attention in recent years, with countless individuals seeking to break free from the grip of pornography addiction and excessive masturbation. No FAP encourages participants to abstain from these habits in an effort to improve their lives, boost their self-esteem, and regain control over their sexuality. While the benefits of no FAP are numerous, the journey can be challenging, and relapses are not uncommon. Before you give in to the urge to relapse, it's crucial to pause and reflect on your goals and the reasons you embarked on this journey in the first place. Understanding the no FAP journey. No FAP is not just about avoiding porn and masturbation, it's a personal journey of self-discovery and self-improvement. To be successful, it's essential to understand the reasons behind your decision to participate in no FAP and the potential benefits it can bring to your life. Some common motivations for joining no FAP include 1. Improved self-esteem and self-confidence. 2. Increased energy and motivation. 3. Better relationships and emotional connections. 4. Enhanced focus and productivity. 5. Freedom from the negative effects of porn addiction. It's essential to keep these motivations in mind when you face the temptation to relapse. The Relapse Conundrum. Relapses are a part of the no-fap journey, and it's important not to be too hard on yourself when they occur. However, it's equally important to take steps to prevent them and minimize their impact on your progress. Relapsing can be discouraging and even lead to a vicious cycle of addiction, guilt, and self-loathing which is why it's crucial to watch this video, figuratively speaking, before you make that decision. 1. Remember your goals. Before giving in to temptation, take a moment to remind yourself of the goals you set when you started your no fap journey. Visualize the positive changes you envisioned in your life, and ask yourself if a momentary relapse is worth sacrificing those goals. Often, the answer will be a resounding no. 2. The Chaser Effect. One of the challenges after a relapse is the chaser effect. After an orgasm, your brain may crave more, making it easier to relapse again soon after the first one. Understanding this phenomenon can help you resist the urge to relapse and avoid falling back into old habits. 3. Develop coping strategies. No FAP is not just about quitting. It's about replacing negative habits with positive ones. Develop healthy coping strategies to deal with stress, boredom, or emotional turmoil without resorting to porn or masturbation. This could include exercise, meditation, journaling, or talking to a friend. 4. Reach out for support. Don't hesitate to seek support from friends, family, or the NoFap community when you're struggling. Sharing your challenges and progress with others who understand what you're going through can provide much-needed encouragement and accountability. 5. Avoid triggers. Identify and avoid situations, environments, or triggers that increase the likelihood of relapse. This might mean changing your daily routine, blocking access to explicit content, or limiting your exposure to sexually stimulating materials. Here are three example stories of individuals on their no-fap journey, each highlighting different aspects of the challenges and rewards they experienced. John's Journey to Self-Discovery John, a 28-year-old software engineer, had been addicted to pornography since his teenage years. He felt like it was negatively affecting his self-esteem, relationships, and work performance. One day, he stumbled upon the NoFap community online and decided to give it a try. In the beginning, it was a struggle for John. He faced multiple relapses, especially during times of stress or loneliness. However, he refused to give up. John began attending therapy to address the root causes of his addiction, which included childhood trauma and low self-esteem. Over time, he discovered the power of self-improvement. John started exercising regularly, picked up new hobbies, and strengthened his social connections. As he reached milestones in his no-fap journey, he felt a newfound sense of self-worth and regained control over his life. John's success story demonstrates the importance of addressing the underlying issues contributing to addiction and using no fap as a catalyst for personal growth. Mark's transformation through number fap. Mark, a 32-year-old marketing manager, embarked on the no fap journey to enhance his focus and productivity. He had noticed that his frequent porn consumption and masturbation were affecting his work performance, causing him to miss deadlines and feel unfocused during meetings. Mark decided to make a clean break from pornography and masturbation. He replaced these habits with healthier alternatives, such as meditation and reading. Initially, it was challenging, 
but as the weeks turned into months, he noticed a remarkable transformation. His work performance improved significantly, and he started receiving praise from his superiors. Mark's increased self-discipline and mental clarity also had a positive impact on his personal life. He felt more confident and began dating again, eventually entering into a fulfilling relationship. Mark's story illustrates how no fap can lead to remarkable personal and professional growth by channeling energy and focus into constructive endeavors. These stories showcase the diverse experiences individuals may have on their no-fap journey, highlighting the challenges, victories, and personal growth that can result from committing to this path of self-improvement and self-discovery. Conclusion The no-fap journey can be tough, but the rewards are worth the effort. Before you consider relapsing, take a step back and remember why you started this journey in the first place. Keep your goals in mind and use the knowledge and strategies you've gained to overcome the urge. Relapses may happen, but they don't define your progress or your worth. Stay strong, stay committed, and watch this video of your goals and aspirations before making a decision you may regret. Thanks for watching.